I'm going to try to explain as I go. I take a section of hair, okay, and I'll use my fingers to flatten it out. Then I'm going to use my thumb to pinch a section off, and then I'll grab that up. I'm going to use my middle finger for this one. Hold it, kind of press your fingers together so you hold it so that you can use your this finger to pinch off your middle section, okay? I'm going to separate it and flatten it out. Pay attention that these lines here are very straight. Take your first one, you're flattening it out with this finger, grab and fold, grab and fold, okay? Now, you may not be able to see, but you want to lay that flat so that you can grab it in between your thumb and forefinger. Make sure that you're pulling. See as I pull that down, how flat that makes that? Mm -hmm. So you put your thumb back on this braid to hold it flat. Take this piece, reach under and grab it, fold it again. Thumb goes back on the braid. That thumb staying on that braid is all important. Okay, thumb stays on the braid. You can let this piece go. Nice and flat, lift it up and over because when you want to tighten it down, right there, thumb goes on the braid, it won't bind the, the top of the braid and it will allow that braid to lay flat. And I'm just going to start with my revolutions, twist and grab, flat, thumb on the braid, grab, twist and turn down, thumb on the braid, grab, twist and turn. See how I'm using my index finger, my pointer finger, mm -hmm. as a guide to just keep it separated and start a revolution. Keep it separated and start a revolution. You always want to let go completely of the braid to complete your revolution. Pick it up, hold on. You're just pinching here and you complete a revolution. Grab, hold, twist and turn. Reach, turn. You can make it one motion. Turn. You keep it separated by putting your finger in between. Grab and turn down. Reach. You're always holding that center of the braid so it never loosens up. Now we're going to add our yarn. Hold it about three quarters. Put it around your pinky. See, you slide it right in between these two plaits, okay? Mm. In between the plaits and make sure it's up there snug. Take it in to your first plait and you go once. Pick it up, make sure this part's tight. You go twice. Make sure this part's tight. Go three times. See how that comes right back out mm -hmm. on the opposite side of where you put it in? And then this one's on the other side. Here's our knot pattern. You toss it over, okay? Straight over. Pull it back a little bit and make a loop so it looks like a D. Forefinger, thumb go through. Reach down and grab that yarn. See, I'm holding it in between my pinky and my ring finger. Mm -hmm. It's nice and snug. You grab it. Both pieces are even. Pull it tight. But then you go once, twice. Now, that knot won't slip at all, even though it's in only one complete revolution. Then you work the yarn around so that you see where that yarn comes off the bottom of that braid. It's on the bottom right corner. It's not on the back side. It's on the bottom right corner of the front face. No, it's there for a reason. And that's to make your fold nice and tight. When you turn that braid over, it needs to be right there. And we'll get to that later.